TMJ4 News celebrates Black History Month with the story of former Green Bay Packers linebacker George Kuntz, who started more than 100 games at linebacker in the 1990s. But his post NFL life is even more impressive. He is now Dr. George Kuntz, and after becoming one of only two players in Packers history to receive a PhD, and has made it his life's purpose to help shape the next generation of scholars. Since George Coons can remember, football had always been the center of his world. I dreamed a lot when I was in that little bedroom that I was in growing up. And I dreamed about uh, playing in the National Football League, playing, about playing uh, in playoff games, playing in the Super Bowl. A young vision he made reality. When I got here on June 1st, and I signed my contract on June 2nd, 1992, things changed. Kuntz started eight seasons with the Packers, reaching a pinnacle with Super Bowl 31. But when it was time to hang up the cleats, his toughest opponent was just on the horizon. I thought I was prepared uh, for life after football, but uh, I wasn't at all. I, depression set in. Uh, start self-medicating when it came to alcohol. And when that bubble burst, uh, I struggled big time. An internal battle that lasted years until a health scare became his wake-up call. My mom would have been devastated if I would have uh, lost my life in that car wreck. How were you able to turn that negative into a positive? I thought that I was a failure because I wasn't playing in the National Football League. And that was the furthest thing from the truth. It came time to drop a new game plan, one centered on academics. With a PhD in hand, Dr. George Kuntz has spent the last decade at Marion University fulfilling his new life purpose. Dr. Kuntz, how are you doing, my friend? Come on in. Come on in. Advocating for education. It's just, it's awesome that he cares so much. At the beginning of this school year, Marion University officially launched the Dr. George E. Kuntz Scholarships Program, giving students in need across Wisconsin an opportunity to pursue higher education. Education provides opportunities, it opens doors, especially for our students who may not otherwise even consider that when they have so many other factors that are happening in their personal lives and in our community. But his vision didn't stop there. It was a lot bigger than what I expected, than it was on TV. Trips up to Lambeau, and not for a game, but exposure to jobs outside of being a professional athlete. It was very eye-opening and very inspiring because he didn't want us to focus on what he'd done in the past. He wanted to focus on what we're going to do in the future. He's showing them that there's life and careers after professional sports. Since September, more than 250 students from Milwaukee area high schools have visited Lambeau Field with Dr. Kuntz. But along with showing off his old stomping grounds, the trip also serves as a lunch and learn. They had really sat us down and really allowed us to um, really gain insight on things like tuition, scholarships. I just want the kids to go to school because if they go to school and get a degree, it's going to make Wisconsin better. You had mentioned being that little kid in your small bedroom. If younger George in that moment knew what Dr. Kuntz was going to be now, what would you tell him? Wow. Put on your seatbelt. Put on your seatbelt because we're on. We, we, we're going to have a wonderful ride. In Fond du Lac, Ashley Washburn, TMJ4 Sports. An amazing ride, sure indeed. Well, Coons has aspirations eventually of becoming a university president, and he hopes that his scholarship will eventually be able to serve around 50 students mm -hmm. per year in the state of Wisconsin. Look, he dreams big, right? And because of the positive impact he's already had on MPS students this year, the city of Milwaukee is honoring him later this week with an award for black excellence. What I love about this story is, you know, George was that guy we cheered for on the mm -hmm. field. And now in this new chapter in life, he's cheering for this next generation. Yes, to succeed. and pushing them forward. Exactly, helping I them succeed. It. It's great.